Representative Sanchez supports other people in recovery by being their loudest, strongest advocate in the state legislature. She goes to work every day thinking, how can I improve the lives of Oregonians? How can I get more people into recovery so that they can have a life experience like I have? Well, I come from a family who had some struggles, as lots of people do, but you know, I was handed a beer at nine years old. And um, I just remember off and on throughout life, you know, experiencing people, you know, drinking, not so much using back in the day, but drinking a lot and a little bit of marijuana here and there. But I remember at when I was 15 years old, like somebody told me I did something and I didn't remember doing at 15 years old. And I watched the rest of my community struggle with this for years and thought, yeah, I don't want to do that. So I quit drinking when I was 15 years old. I have been involved with the recovery community for years, of course, in the Native community. We have a lot of folks who are working towards recovery in powwows and ceremony and dance and all kinds of different things that people really work hard towards sobriety. And I didn't necessarily have like AA at that young age, but mostly it was Native traditional spiritual work that actually held me up. I was 23 when I got clean and sober, and she's always been my role model. Because of our, our spiritual uh, commitment, we don't drink or smoke or, or do drugs, and she's been a spiritual person for a very long time. Tana and I kind of grew up together, and I remember when she was still delivering flowers as a florist and then she went to school and she now has a master's degree in social work and she's also a state representative. She knocked on every door for weeks and months at a time. She won the election and she has represented her district very well and all Native people throughout Oregon. I know that we put laws into place because we think that that's going to curb an addiction issue or a drug trafficking issue or whatever it is. And we know that that's actually not always the case. How do we manage that? How do we do that differently rather than just putting people in prison or stigmatizing someone's life forever? You cannot be defined by the one mistake that you made in your life a long time ago. You have to be able to move past that. And it is our legal system to a degree that is making it difficult for people. And because I know what the laws that we make in Salem due to the people on the ground, it makes a difference that I can talk about those things and really help people understand that we can do this differently and that we're dealing with an addiction, not just somebody who doesn't care or who is weak. Well, that's not the case. And people recover all the time, every day. Representative Sanchez's greatest impact on the recovery community is that this powerful person in the Oregon legislature stands up and says, I'm in recovery. And I can't stress enough how important it is for someone who's three days in recovery or 30 years in recovery and thinks anonymity is so important that they're not supposed to tell anyone. When leaders like Representative Sanchez stand up and say, I'm in recovery, I'm proud of that fact, and I want to get more people into recovery, that creates space for all of us to come out and we're not gonna solve this problem and we're not gonna have strong recovery until we begin to feel pride in it in order to feel pride in it, we have to recognize it publicly. The impact on the community has been tremendous. I think because of the model that she has created in regard to what does a strong Native woman look like and what is it that you can achieve if you put your mind to it. She's very ethical, she's very honest, she's very compassionate, and she works a heck of a lot more hours than 40 hours a week, I can tell you that. Representative Sanchez deserves the, the Freedom Award because there's no other public person or private person that stands up and leverages their power on behalf of the people in recovery. There's no one else. And she does not lose an opportunity to remind people that Oregon is gripped by a, a terrible addiction crisis, that there is a solution and we need to move towards that solution. And I look at my opportunities to be in leadership in any way, shape, or form as something that my community has pushed me to do. And I want the legislature to be like that again, to be a place of honor and not be a place of, of just accolades or money.
I shouldn't be the one shining up there and saying, I did this, I did this, because that's not who I am, right? That's not what my culture says to me for that I should be doing. I should be humbled by the fact that people looked at me and thought I was doing a good job. So I'm grateful for every rock in the road, every trip and stumble, because otherwise I wouldn't be where I am. Thank you.